Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I have. It's been a long day, but it's been a rewarding day working on uh, getting this bathroom remodeled. And um, definitely was a good one. Any day that I can get up and get out of bed and I have work to go do uh, is always a good day. So we got some news on the Cowboys with the salary cap. And <sighs> here's the thing. And I don't know if, let me look and see if it's been updated yet um, over the cap. The NFL... It's got more money this year. The salary cap has literally exploded. Um, as we sit here right at this moment, the Dallas Cowboys are $9.9 million um, over the cap, which sounds terrible. Oh, my God, we don't have any money. Um I remember some of the years with Tony Romo where we were like $32, $35 million over the cap and having to just kind of like restructure contracts left and right to get up under it and um, not have any money to do anything else. Here's where the Cowboys have no excuses right now. I know it's not like the $78 million that the Washington Commanders have to work on the cap. I get that. But the Commanders don't have the personnel that we have. They got their defense. They got rid of their best players on defense. They have a lot of holes. I don't honestly look at the Cowboys. And, you know, it's, it drives me crazy. It literally just pisses me off with the lack of real knowledge of football. You know, everybody keeps saying, you know, my, my man – uh, Derek is sitting there like, we just, just blow the whole thing up. And I'm sitting here looking at it and saying, the same guys who don't recognize that we need a quality running back to run between the tackles, okay, that they don't understand that we need a running back, okay? You got rid of Zeke and you didn't replace him. You got rid of Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson and you did not really replace them. You can't just get rid of guys and not replace the production. You got rid of um, Connor McGovern, Connor Williams, and Lyle Collins, and you did not do anything other than Mozzie Smith to address those needs. We've had a problem at center for quite a few years. Beatis, he's been okay, but he's not like Travis Frederick. Tyron Smith has been injured more than he's played. Now, he had a decent year. This year, but you kept going into these situations, understanding that, you know, we're all just waiting and hoping on a wing and a prayer that Tyron Smith's going to be okay. When we were winning those Super Bowls all of those years, we had depth in there. And that's the problem with the Cowboys is they do well with the draft with the exception of this past year. We'll see if those guys take a step. Uh, Schoonmaker, I think he can get better. I think that um, uh, Overshone, hopefully he'll come back from the injury and be in good shape, hopefully. Um, hopefully he's not on the Michael Gallup route. But you have to look at this and say, as good as Pat Mahomes is, Pat Mahomes does not win that Super Bowl this year without that defense. And you're doing yourself a discourage, disservice if you don't recognize that. That game against Baltimore, if they don't take those three takeaways from Baltimore, Baltimore wins that game. They're not in the Super Bowl. Flat out. If that defense and Chris Jones and crew does not shut down San Francisco, they do not win that Super Bowl. I don't care how good Pat Mahomes is. And that's a fact. And you can look at teams. I said, I, I, I literally said, name me a team that's winning Super Bowls without being a complete team. And they said Kansas City. And I'm kind of like, are you kidding me? Now, the only place that you look at, you might say wide receiver, because they did have a ton of drops this year, would be the area that maybe... You look at it, you say, 
they're not great at. But yeah, Pat Mahomes can do so many different things. You got the best tight end in football. You have a really good offensive line. You had a really good running attack and a lights out defense. That team is a lot more complete than what the Dallas Cowboys were. We have the Cowboys who could not stop the run. And it was proven every single week that we faced a great running game. We just did not perform in those. We got bloodied and battered. The fact that we got 12 wins with a team that could not run the football and could not stop the run is amazing, to be quite honest with you. And Mike McCarthy should be given more credit than what he's gotten. We sucked ass against Green Bay. I agree. But the reality is, is the team has had flaws that we have not addressed in forever. And this is the opportunity that the Cowboys have. There's no excuses why you, you can't look around and say, we don't have the wherewithal. The salary cap goes up $31 million this year. Guaranteed, it will continue to go up. Some early projections before COVID were the salary cap would be somewhere around $470 million by 2027. Let's say that that thing was way off by, like let's say, $100 million. Let's say it was off by $100 million. That's still $370 million. That's still another $125 million in the next three years. I dare say that that is more than achievable as the NFL has ambassador teams throughout the world now where they're spreading the whole NFL whole thing. You got games now going in Brazil. You got games that are played in Germany and England and Mexico. You're becoming an international sport. And guess what? That brings in more money, which means there's going to be more money on the salary cap. So, Jerry, Steven, what you going to do, brother? What you going to do? Now, I think I'm going to say I have some hope. A little bit of hope. That Mike McCarthy and Mike Zimmer are staying in Dallas instead of going to the Combine. To me, what that says is we have to figure out who we want to be here from our free agents. As we figure out what kind of defense we're going to run, we still need to get a couple more coaches in here. But as we try and figure out what we're going to do with this defense, which one of these free agents are we going to try and hold on to? And which ones do we need to target to bring in to make this team better? If the Cowboys don't do anything in free agency this year, then they never will. They honestly will never do anything. This is the prime time to be able to do this. You take Dak, in, in a, let, me, let me explain to you how. And it's not even that painful. In past years where we've had to make major moves with Tony Romo and things just so we could get under the salary cap, you do Dak Prescott's. Just Dak Prescott's alone will probably give you twenty plus million dollars to spend on other free agents. You do C.D. Lamb, you probably got another eight right there. You go through restructure, Diggs, Zach Martin, D. Law. You cut Michael Gallup. You got somewhere near sixty million, and you've got Michael Parsons signed up. And then next year, you don't have any big contracts to do. You don't. Unless you bring in a big name free agent. That's my thoughts. Maybe I'm crazy or just plain stupid. I don't know. But the Cowboys, they need to do something because it has just gotten to be incredibly ugly. Cowboys, if they were to go out the first week in free agency, it's side, a bona fide. Free. I'm not talking about the bottom basement ones. I'm not talking about believing our own guys and you know signing our guys again and all that. No, I don't want the bullshit. Go out there and get some real studs. All right, good people. I'm tired. I'm gonna take me a shower, go to sleep, and get ready to hit this bathroom again tomorrow. Mm. I guess that sounded kind of funny. Remodeling a bathroom, okay? Although, I do hit the bathroom every morning on a regular basis. And I feel bad for that bathroom. I feel bad for it. All right, good people. You know how we roll. Oh, sorry about yawning. 
But it's 11 o'clock at night, and it's been a long day. Remember, tell the people you love how much you love them. Because life is short and life is precious. And you never know when your time is up. I love you guys. Be safe out there. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Whew. I am so tired. Why am I so tired? I'm going to end with this tonight. Tell them. <laughs> Love y'all fans, y'all good, baby. Y'all back good in Tell them. Don't get on top of that boot, John. That girl get on top of that. Say, I'm on top of the roof. John fans is on top. He's on top of the roof. We got a better picture now because I'm on top of the world. He's on top of the roof. He's on top of the roof. He's going to be the ornament. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm going to get rid of it. All the way back home. That's right. Jazz fans on top of the roof. Yeah. You know Spam the comments, please. You know why I'm doing this? To give you guys some pleasure. Because you guys have picked poorly. So you can laugh at me because you guys still suck. Okay. Woo! <laughs> New York sticker Jazz fan just got hey, hey. on the roof of the what's RV up? for you guys. Hey, for you. Some happiness in your life. <laughs> <laughs> y'all were visible last night. Okay. Y'all pulled out of that stadium. Y'all was ooh, 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 ooh. with your head hanging down. Good Jimmy, Jimmy, you picture and picture. I'm gonna let y'all smile. Put a smile. Put, put wait, wait till week two. Wait till week two. Week two, yeah. Put on the happy face, y'all. For y'all, y'all made me an instant celebrity. 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 Week two, you won't be happy. Hey. Who, who's gonna block Saquon? We picking him up in the draft, buddy. This two love it ain't no fail. Woo! That's not enough. Hey, the Giants fan decided to kill himself. <laughs> hey, we try to make, we try to make, we try to break work. The Giants fan decided to kill himself. Yeah, he, 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 he up there doing for the fan, doing for the fan. Do it for the fan. Jump, 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 I didn't mean that, baby. He's probably coming down. No, I didn't mean that. Until next time. Y'all want this? Y'all have it. <laughs> Any last words for the fans? I did this for y'all because I'm, I'm a nice guy in the long run. At the end of the day, I'm a nice guy. And I want y'all to be happy because this draft will be the worst draft you ever have. At least you have something to, re to remember this draft by. The Giants thinking, New York stinking Giants family on top of the bus. Acting like an antenna. So I get a